Well then, uh, one day more, let us all break into song, one day more, this is it. Uh, if we were to have gathered in class, I would have had uh, pre-work for you. I would have had these four questions in some document that you would have looked at before we began, and then you would have showed up to class and said, whoa, you got to help me with some, some answers to these things, and, and I understand that. Um, I want to work through, at the very least, this one and this one, because on final exam day, you are absolutely going to have some fundamental theorem question, and you are absolutely going to have some net change question. So let's talk about those. These are screenshotted from actual final exams. They appeared on final exams in this form. So, so if you're looking for, hey, what's he going to ask us about? This is in the pale. Let's see how this goes. Um, looking for g of negative 1, g prime of negative 1, g double prime of negative 1. Well, what's g? g is this function that we can't see. This is the f function. This is the g function that we can't see. So we're going to handle these things one at a time. Uh, g of negative 1. Well, this is g, so g of negative 1 takes this negative 1 and puts it here. Integral from negative 4 to negative 1 of f of t dt. Well, what's that? Here's the f graph. When we're looking for the integral of the f graph, well, that's, that's this. That's the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is one-half base height. That's g of negative 1. Now, g prime of negative 1, that's a whole other deal. g prime is the derivative of this. And when we take the derivative of an integral function from a numbery thing to a lettery thing, the derivative of an integral from a numbery thing to a lettery thing is just this part. And so g prime of negative 1 is the same as f of negative 1. And f of negative 1, that's that y value there, that's 3. And if g prime is the same as f, g double prime is the same as f prime. Well, what's f prime of negative 1? That's the derivative of this function at negative 1. Well, what's a derivative? That's just a slope. And the slope of this line is very obviously 1. Now, uh, super important for you to know, and I'll tell you this secret because you're actually watching this video. Super important secret. If you don't recognize the connection between G and F, if you don't recognize that this is an area and these are derivatives, you don't pick up any of these six points. But if you pick up what these things are, and I have told you blatantly that this is going to show up, then you can pick up partial credit. So now, let's deal with g increasing and g concave up. g is increasing when g prime is positive, but g prime is f. g is concave up when g double prime is positive, and g double prime is positive when f prime is positive, because g double prime is f prime, and f prime is positive when f is increasing. So what do we need? We need f to be positive and f to be increasing. So where is f positive and increasing? Here, here. So the answer is here, and here, why? Because g prime is positive, uh, g prime, which is f, is positive, and g prime, which is f, is increasing. 
So we make the connection between G prime and F, and then we use these pieces of information to guide our answer. And the last part, what's the absolute maximum value of G on the interval from negative 4 to 4? Well, if we're looking for an absolute max on a closed interval, the absolute max either occurs at one of the endpoints or it's a critical point in between. So what's that? So g of negative 4 we have to know, g of 4 we have to know, and we have to know what g is at any critical point in between. g of negative 4 is easy because the integral from negative 4 to negative 4 of any function is 0. G of 4, I'm not really worried about, um, but I guess we could figure it out. Uh, this triangle is 1 half times 5 times 4, that's 10, and this little light of mine is another 2, but then this area cancels out with that area. This is a positive integral value. This is a negative integral value. And so that's 12. Right, I think? No, I'm so wrong on this. I'm so wrong on this. No, I'm not. I'm not that wrong on this. 5 by 4, that's 10. 2 by 1, oh, 2 by 1. That's 2, but that's only 1. The scale is off. And a 2 by 1, that's just area 1. Okay, much better. So now we look at critical points. Where are critical points? Places where G prime is 0. Well, that means places that F is 0. So where is F 0? F is 0 here, and F is 0 here. And F is positive, F is positive, F is negative. Positive, positive, negative. We don't care about this critical point because the derivative doesn't change from positive to negative. We care about this critical point because the derivative changes from positive to negative. We figure out what g of 3 is. And g of 3 is this 10 and that 1. And then we add this area from 2 to 3. That's a 1 by 1 triangle, oh golly, it's 11 and a half, and that's the maximum value. So now you know that my PDF that I've posted is oh so very, very wrong. But that's fine. That's, that's fine, right? Uh, oh, let's just do this in real time and be, be super vulnerable about it. Let's do this in real time. That's 2, that's 1. So the area of this triangle is 2 by 1. That's only 11. That's 11. We figured out here, we figured out here, this area, that's 1, that's 1. That's only a half. Oh, mercy sakes alive. I'm so sorry that you went back and redid all of that on my account. Okay. Well, if you stuck to the end on that, good for you, right? Hey, how about that? Let's deal with the Mupiter question. On the Mupiter question, so this is the rate at which kittens are born. And kittens die at some constant rate. So this is how they're born, and this is how they die. And you can guess when the question was written. 
So what are we interested in? So let's look at some interpretations. B of 6 is 26.195. B of 6 is this number. This is a rate. So B of 6 is a rate. It's the rate at which kittens are born. So at t equals 6 months, let me know that you know that t is in months. At t equals 6 months, the rate at which kittens are born is 26.195 what kittens per month? There is no calculus to do here. We're just looking at what rates mean. Then B prime of 6. Well, B prime is how this changes. So again, at t equals 6 months, this number is referring to the rate at which the birth rate changes. The rate at which the birth rate changes is 31.862 what? So this is kittens per month. Time is measured in months. It's kittens per month per month. Then you have an integral. We took a rate and we integrated. We got a number. So if we took kittens per month and integrated over months, we get a number of kittens. There were 1,082 kittens born uh, during, during the first 12 months or during the 12 months of of the year or whatever so now we determine the maximum number of kittens in the time interval from 0 to 12 so what's that so let, let's consider some things Here's 90, right? This is the rate at which kittens die. So through this time interval, there are more kittens being born than dying. Maybe that's a max. Here there are more kittens dying than being born. This is not a max. Here there are more kittens being born than dying. Maybe this is a max. Here there are more kittens dying than being born. Here there are more kittens being born than dying. Maybe this is a max. Sorry. So there are three places to consider. Three times that we worry about. And because I've done all the pre-work on this, I know that this time is 3.7461, and this time is 8.7673, and this time is 11.8194. And each time we figure out what the integral is from the beginning of the year to that time of the rate of change of the population of the kittens. So how many are born minus how many die per month. Uh, this turns out to be 147 cats uh, at that time. Uh, if you do the other integrals, they turn out to be 64 and 25. That's the max. So we would show the other two integrals. Uh, I'm not for sake of time. We would show the other two integrals, uh, but this one's the one that generates the maximum number of kittens. Okay? Okay. So that's, that's your 15 minutes. Office hours will help clear up questions. Talk to you soon.